So, what's this about some ceremony over at the rec hall tonight? Bunch of grown men fawning over football players. Lord, I do not get it. Thank you. Yeah, I'm back at work, so I don't think I'll make it. Are you serious? You push around a wheelbarrow. Hey! At least someone in this house is working. 22 years old and still have your mama coming over and cooking and cleaning for you. Yeah, well, nobody asked you to. That show's a waste of time if you ask me. Head in the clouds, just like your daddy. Yeah, way better to be stuck here in this dump hole getting applauded by nobodies, huh? Hey, Colm Cruz, don't you talk to your mama like that. Fine. I'll go start the car. You know, not everyone's destined to be a big star, you know. You boys need to get that into your head. There you go. Listen. Carl, he... he looks up to you. Just... Just think about what I said. Yeah, I'll... I'll, I'll give him a talk. Oh, you look just like your daddy. Now, go on, get out of here. Go on. I put up with you for a long time, man. I've tried to be supportive through everything. But I've just gotten to the point where I'm at. I'm just done. You want to waste your talent, you go right ahead. But if you're going to quit, you know you need to tell him. You wrong for taking me here? No, I'm not wrong, man. I'm not. Dev, I gave up everything to do that stupid show with you. So you could what? You could just quit? No. Burn everything to the ground? No. Look, I didn't ask you to skip the Super Regional. You didn't have to, Dev. You needed me, so I came. I guess that makes me an idiot. <sighs> Anything ever happens to you, the wheels just come flying off. You just throw your hands up in the air. Well, guess what? I'm done being the one to pick you up, Dev. What? What? So what? I'm a burden on you? <laughs> You're a burden on me, man. You know, without me, man, you can forget you, T. You've been lucky to be playing Division Three. Lucky. And that's it right there, man. It's all about you. You are so selfish, Dev. You are incredibly selfish. You know, I, I just didn't see it until today. I'm selfish? Yeah. I spent half my time taking care of you. I mean, what, what do you need me to be, man? Your, your quarterback, your daddy, your best friend? Thank God I can't sing or you make me the leader of your crappy little band, too. Oh, yeah, that's it, D. Just burn it all to the ground. You know, when you left three years ago, it felt like you died along with your dad. And when you came back, well, I guess I should have just kept on pretending. Man, you shut your mouth! I don't gotta put up with this crap. You need to hear this. See, you always tell yourself you tried. But guess what? You never really try. The first sign of trouble, and you head for the hills. That producer flipped out, and boy, did you see a green light and run. Because that's all you do, is run. You know what, Dev? I've been meaning to ask you. Those three picks against Oregon, did you throw them on purpose so you could run away? Man, forget you, man. No, man, forget you. Man, forget you. You go ahead and get I ain't going nowhere. I said get out. I ain't going. I'm not getting I said out. Get I'm not, not getting out. Huh. <laughs> Okay. Huh. 
Hey, Cole, I'm sorry. No, man. man, it is... It is always about you. And it has always been about you. I gave up the Super Combine for you, man. And for what? For this? No. Get out. Cole, get out! Now! You gonna take a break? I came in late, gotta make up for it. If you say so. But you're gonna make the rest of us look bad. <laughs> I've been making y'all look bad. Well, I gotta say, it's uh, cool having you back. Although it's temporary and all. You won't be slumming with us once those big NFL paychecks start rolling in. <laughs> mm, right. Hey, Dad. If you could be on time tomorrow, I'd appreciate it. Yeah, you bet. Yeah. I don't wanna look weak in front of my crew. <laughs> your crew? <laughs> That's why your pop's name's on the sign. It don't even say and sons. <laughs> <laughs> how about I fire you, and then we'll see who the boss is. All right, all right, calm down. Just funning with you. <laughs> yeah, I see things haven't changed, huh? <sighs> Tell me about it. A lot of great memories here, man. But greener pastures ahead, right? Yeah. Got that right. Man, there wasn't a game that the stands were packed to the hills when we played. Pressure comes. Wade to throw. And he is set. No! No, Wade! He breaks out of it! And boom! He stiff arms the tackler! Cold, man. Gotta get it past that safety. Anybody to throw to? Are you kidding me? Holy cheese! Right. Hey, you remember that game before State? Man, our team was so beat up. Man, how in the heck were you playing on both sides of the ball? Come on, nah. Devin, I'm putting you in at free safety. Of course. If I tell you a rooster can pull a wagon, you hitch him up. You want to win this championship? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I, I won't lose it down, Coach. Go on out there and make me proud. We're revisiting Devin's high school days, and in this scenario right here, he's playing on both sides of the field because his team was so beat up, so he was forced to play safety and quarterback. Also, you guys saw in the beginning of the episode, him and Colt got in a really big fight. So once we are done with this high school scenario, and we go back to real life, it's going to be interesting to see how that relationship plays out. But right now, like I said, we're revisiting his high school days. We're down 24 nothing. We do get a stop here. So we got to go back on offense and score a lot of points. Devin and the defense did their part. Forced the punt. Yep, yep. Serena better watch out for Storm Stanton. He is due for a big punt return. Folks, if you got up to go to the concession stand during the punt, you missed a good one. We're currently in the third quarter. The score now is 24-7. Devin finds a wide-open receiver. 
And just like that, we're coming back. Back on defense we go. A big third down here. The quarterback throws it to the left side of the field. I have no idea what's going on. But all I know is we got to stop. So we force yet another punt. Now give us the ball back. Give it back. That's right. Hand it over. Folks, we're back. We got a tight ball game here. Now, although we got a stop there, they somehow still got a touchdown later on. So we are brought back in the fourth quarter. The score is 31 to 21, but luckily we got a big catch here from Colt Cruz. <laughs> All he had to do was make that one guy miss, and he was off to the race. Quite a drive so far. Way to throw again. And Devin slides. First down. Touchdown, Mathis. That's right. That's right. You show them, boys. <laughs> How's it feel? How's it feel? So Mathis is able to score, and we'll have to see what Serena can come up with. Time to buckle up, Mathis. Shut the Stingray offense down. He throws it. Devin steps in front. Get down! Get down! He's got it. No! Trent Dump! Dang it! Go! He throws it. Devin steps in front. Get down! Get down! Sayonara, Sarita. Devin Wade is taking it yes! to the yeah! Woo! <laughs> That's my boy! <laughs> That's my boy! working hard hey D um since you uh didn't take that break yeah you gonna eat your lunch yeah I was planning to well I mean if you're gonna work through it I I don't want it to spoil or nothing you know what I'm saying like look like it was a big thing right, that right. you had did, here did you not bring lunch well I ate mine you want mine too yeah if you don't if you're not gonna eat it I mean I, mean, I didn't really say I wasn't gonna eat it Thanks, man. You're the best. No, I didn't. Thanks, man. I didn't. Hey, don't, don't eat my lunch, man. You're the best, man. You're the long shot. Huh? Ha-ha. <laughs> freaking Damn way. <sighs> Yo, D-Man, you ready? <sighs> Hey, what's up, man? Hey, what's going on? Hey, I gotta finish this, guys. Not anymore, you don't. We're busting you out of here. Like I said, man, I gotta finish. I can't do it. <laughs> I'll tell you, boss, you're here till midnight. <laughs> Besides, must been squeezing a slim fit dressing for nothing. It's my thyroid. Thyroid's a 36 pack of donuts. You're just jealous. This is what a real man looks like. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Dev, ceremony starts in 45 minutes and everyone's gonna be there. I know, man. I, I just can't. Can't. Everyone put this together because you're in town. I, I didn't ask him to. You, you all right, man? Got a coke going? Hell, man, we ain't enough. Come on, D, let's roll. Fine. We ain't leaving here without you. Fellas, come on. Yeah. Just go to the ceremony. Look alive, boys. <sighs> Sorry I'm late. Hope you got an extra shovel for me. Had to pull some extra strings for this one. It being retired and all. <laughs> Thanks for coming. I, I didn't think you would. Come on, man. You're my best friend. 
All right, you boys gonna slow dance? We're gonna finish this thing. <laughs> Sunset, and we got about 35 minutes to the ceremony. Yes, do it. <laughs> All right. All right. You heard the man. That right there is called friendship goals. So it looks like me and Colt are right back at it. Come on. Ah. Thing weighs a pound. Come on, man. <clears throat> One pound? Come on, Muggs. I got One a bad pound. thyroid, man. You looked yourself all around all day. Come on, man. That should be easy for I you. I don't even think you know what a thyroid is. Yeah, it's right here, man. That's I, your thyroid. I'm going to kick you right in the thyroid. You keep lipping off. We're in the Sam Hill of your den. Sorry, coach. We had to get Devin. Well, where'd you get him? In a coal mine? <laughs> Dad gum it, I had those jerseys dry clean special. No, that's my bad, Coach, but maybe no one will notice. Well, they're not blind. Boy, sometimes I think that you have a $20 Stetson on top of a nickel noggin. Come on, line up here. Let's go, they're gonna call you in one at a time. Hey, you, you, you stay back. It's all uh, alphabetical order. <laughs> been doing rolling around the pig pen yeah, sorry coach i must have brushed up against the dirty truck or something oh don't turn into coal tony <laughs> sure thing coach i wish your daddy was here to witness this yeah, me too you know he always said football's family and here we are yes and record holder and every passing the star of the hit show launch ladies and gentlemen He's the pride of madness. It's Devin Ware! And when you go out there, it's going to raise us a lot of funds. Go in there and save our team. Bring it back to us. <laughs> you got it, Coach. Oh, I love that boy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you want another one? Nah, man, one's all I can take. All right. Suit yourself. <laughs> man, I never had a night like that. Never had a day like that either. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm grateful for all of it. Cheers, man. Cheers, brother. Julia, what are you doing here? I drove down. I've been trying to get a hold of you for days. Yeah, well, <clears throat> Devin's not coming back to the show. What are you? Look, I understand why you left. But if you come back now, there's still time to get the show back on track. <laughs> no, no way. Not with Fountain still there. I got this, man. Sorry. If we work together, we can get the show away from Ross. And what about the Legends game? It'll be at the end of the season where it should have been all along. Huh. It'd be the two of us, though, right? Yes. Yeah, then I'll do it. Yeah, well, I will only come back on one condition. Hmm. And when we get back to Austin, you and I go get dinner together. Just the two of us. <laughs> what do you say? Absolutely not. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. <laughs> I'm still in for the show, though. <laughs> hey. All right, well, I guess we'll see you back in Austin. All right, um, you think that old Junker will make it there? I'm certain of it. <laughs> oh. I sound pretty good with that accent, don't I? <laughs> Crazy, man. Yep, I call this puppy Old Faithful. <laughs> Never let me down. <sighs> Come on, Deb, we ain't got all night, baby. I'm coming, I'm coming. <laughs> Coach? Devin. Uh, come on in. I wanted to, to talk with you before we met with the execs. Coach, I, I just, just wanted, wanted to, say to say that. I'm sorry. Uh, I'll go. Uh, yeah. I just wanted to apologize 
uh, for leaving. I never should have left. So I'm sorry. Have a seat. Yeah, close. You know, when you got here, I, uh, I asked why you were on long shot. Yeah. <laughs> I never gave you an answer. Well, it's because it's a difficult question. You ever wonder why I was here? Uh, it's not. Well, you know I was fired by St. Louis, right? Yeah. Well, years ago, I fought to draft as junior quarterback. This, this kid had all the talent in the world. I talked to Brass and the trading up to get him second overall. Expectations were sky high. <laughs> My career hung in the balance. Mm. Well, I rushed this kid every step of the way. And in my offense, which is predicated on empty backfields, no extra protection, he was a sitting duck. I mean, heck, our favorite play was the deep dig. <laughs> uh, when, he got, when he got hurt week one, I hurried him back. And it was all because I had to succeed. I never said this out loud, but what I did that was abuse. Within two years, no team would touch that kid. He was out of the league. Rams fired me. And I told myself that it was because I chose the wrong guy. But the truth is, I was the wrong guy. That kid, he deserved better. Look. I came on this show to resurrect my career, to show everybody that the great Jack Ford was back. But a coach's job is to serve his players, and I violated that. I should have been there for you. I just, I hope that you'll give me another chance, because I'm now ready to do whatever it takes for you to succeed. That is my lone goal going forward. I really appreciate that, Coach. You guys ready? Yeah. Let's get to work. This episode has come to an end. As you guys saw, Devin Wade decided to go back to the long shot. So I'm guessing now we're going to train for the big game that they originally tried to host. It's going to be crazy to see what happens. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. I'll be back soon with another episode.